Thank you very much for having me back again. Um, as um, Andrew was saying, I'm the 2012 award winner. So when they asked me to come back again this year, I said, no, but I didn't win it last year. And they said, no, but we want you to come back. And I think it's probably because Louise couldn't be here, but I don't care. I said, no problem at all, I'd love to be here. It is such a privilege to hear your stories. Um, I, I love this particular event. And being able to hear everybody speak, you take little snippets of it, and they're bits of gold that you get to take home with you. And it makes you better. I've heard so many different messages. I just, all I could hear then um, was I am, the words that Lane, the, that Lane gave us. And, I, and it, I've heard Lane speak many times. And I just wish I could get my two teenage daughters in the room with her. And I've known her for a long time. And I just, sh her messages are so positive and they're so empowering. But everybody tonight has had those messages of empowerment for us. So it's a privilege to be here again. Last night, I was actually in Sydney at the opening of our fifth clinic. Um, and it was a very big moment for Alex and I. In fact, it's one of those moments that we probably should have been shaking the champagne and not drinking the champagne. And I wish we did take that moment to, to spray a little bit because um, it would have been a lot more fun. Um, but it was another milestone and definitely another pinch myself moment. It's our fifth clinic, as I said, and it's our second one in Sydney. And in light of it opening, I get asked a lot re um, recently, what's next for Clear Complexions? So it's our ninth year now of caring for our clients. And I can honestly say that I've never loved it more or believed more in what we do. Clear Complexions was actually born out of, a little, out of a need for a little bit of help with my own skin. So I had acne as a teenager. And then when I had my two girls, I developed hormonal pigmentation, which to anyone who's ever had either of those two conditions, it can really strip your confidence. But at the time, um, there was nowhere really to get any advice um, or any help with it. And so that's where the concept of the clinics came about. Our first clinic was very, very small, but very beautiful in Sizac in Belconnen. It was a kind of place that I wanted to visit myself, but that didn't exist at the time. A place where you could get medical advice from nurses and doctors uh, in a very warm and welcoming environment. And now, five years later, our philosophy that is very much the same as it was. Sorry, five clinics later, our philosophy is the same. And that is to ensure that every client we treat feels a little bit more confident with their skin now and into the future. Our focus isn't just on the quick fix, it's more of a long-term holistic approach. So we're a little bit like skin coaches for our clients. I'm a Canberra girl and Alex, my partner, um, my husband, um, my partner since I was 13, he's, a Canberra, he's Canberra born and bred and I love this town. I get asked all the time when I'm gonna to move to Sydney and I just smile and say, half a week. We do half a week in Sydney because I love coming home. Where else could a nurse get a start in her own business and experience the kind of support that we have over the years? And everybody in this room who started your businesses here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Moving into the Sydney business environment, well, that was an incredible experience as well. But I am so glad that I had the Telstra Women's Business Awards right by my side. And I'm so grateful in particular that I had the Commonwealth Women in, Biz uh, Women in Focus with us. Because as Ruth mentioned before, all I had to do was pick up the phone and say, my God, we're moving into the Sydney market. We're opening our new clinic. I need your help. And, it, and help came in droves and we filled, we had about 70 women that night and all they wanted to know was how they could help me. You've entered into a unique alumni by your success to get to this point. Congratulations. Alex often jokingly refers to my networks created two years ago as akin to the Freemasons, because all I have to do is, as I said, pick up the phone and ask for help, and it's given in the truest spirit of reciprocity. So even if your name wasn't on the card tonight, you are still a winner. And your bravery in entering and putting yourself in that really uncomfortable situation and filling out that ridiculously difficult entry form to fill out will be bountifully rewarded if you choose to take advantage of it. And I strongly advise that you do, and I would love to help in any way that I can. Congratulations to you all, and to your families, your friends, your colleagues and your peers who believed in you. It turns out that their faith in you was truly justified. So congratulations.